So today I'm going to be sharing with you some brand new makeup, the new concealer from IT Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Dark Spots Corrector and Serum Concealer. I also have the new Kosas Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer, a new tinted moisturizer, and some cream blush. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products, everything from drugstore to high end and everything in between. And today I'm so excited to try out these new products, particularly the new Bye Bye Dark Spots Corrector Serum Concealer. Oh my gosh, I wanna see if this works for our mature skin, if it's going to cover up those dark spots. And yeah, so without further ado, Let's get into the video. How you doing? Well, it is almost the first day of spring and Tennessee doesn't even know it. It is so cold here. We were under a freeze watch. Tennessee weather, what can I say? But yeah, I'm super excited to test out these products. Actually, I've been testing them out all week and some of them are on the pricier side, but I think I found some dupes for them. And make sure you stay till the end so you hear my final thoughts to see if it's worth spending your money on them. So. So let's get into it. Now I've already primed and prepped my skin. I've done my morning skincare routine. The primer that I use today is from Essence. It's the Hello Good Stuff Skin Refining Primer. It's, it's moisturizing, hydrating, and it really just creates a nice soft canvas for my complexion and blurring as well. It's also like $5.99. It's super inexpensive and it's super accessible. And I really couldn't wait to try out these products, especially the Kosas Glow IV Vitamin Fused Skin Enhancer. And then and the tinted moisturizer that I wanted to try out today. It's not really brand new, but it's new for me. It's from Say Beauty. It is their slip tint tinted moisturizer. Some of these products were sent to me in PR, but you know I'm gonna be honest with you because these products are not cheap. It's a tinted moisturizer that offers skin loving hydration, sheer dewy coverage in confusion free shades. I'm confused already. And 100% mineral UV protection. So it does include SPF. I'll be sure to put all the details and all the products listed in the description box below. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do have normal to dry skin. I have hyperpigmentation, fine lines, and tomorrow I turn 56. I am so grateful to have another trip around the sun. Shout out to my fellow Pisces, but yeah, I will officially be 56 tomorrow. So let's get into this slip tint. And I'm gonna do two pumps for good measure. And I'm gonna warm it up on the back of my hand. It has a very liquidy consistency. Oh, let me zoom you in. Oh, don't get foundation on your camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the center of my face. You guys, this is like the exact shade of my skin. It does claim to be very flexible. When you have a skin tint or tinted moisturizer, they tend to be more flexible in shades. This is literally like putting on my skin over my skin. and. It does have a very light consistency and it definitely feels hydrating. Now, if your complexion tends to run on the oilier side, this may not be ideal for you, but since I have normal to dry skin, my complexion is drinking it up. But as you can see, it just has super light coverage and I just like using my fingertips. I think you will get the maximum amount of coverage even though it boasts light coverage, but it really just evens out the skin tone and just looks really nice on the skin. You're not gonna get medium coverage. You're not gonna get full coverage. You're just gonna get a nice even skin tone. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn down my lights so you can see exactly what we're dealing with. So as you can see, it's very glowy on the complexion. It just hydrates very nicely. It's so comfortable on the skin. It literally does not feel like you're wearing anything except for like a moisturizer. So it is super hydrating. It is super lightweight. And as you can see, hardly any coverage. But if that's your cup of tea, I think you're really going to like it. But you know what it reminds me of? It's very similar in texture and coverage to the number no. seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation. Now this is a gorgeous drugstore foundation. It is beautiful on the skin. It's very mature skin friendly. It also has an SPF. So if you don't wanna fork out the $36 for this, I highly recommend the number no. seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation. This is gorgeous on the skin. 
and at a fraction of the cost. Let's talk about the Kosas Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer. Now this was sent to me in PR and I was so excited to test this out because I absolutely love the Revealer Concealer. It's so beautiful. It has beautiful light to medium coverage. It doesn't settle under my fine lines. So when they sent this to me, I could not wait to test it out. From what I gathered from reading up on this particular product, it's kind of maybe similar to the e.l.f. Woe Glow. Now, this is an SPF. You can use it as a primer and it's also very glowy. You can use it underneath your foundation to get that really glowy luminosity to peek through your foundation. And you can use this in several different ways as well. You can use it as a spot highlighter. You can use it as underneath your foundation, again, to give you that luminosity. But first of all, the shade that I got was Illuminate. I don't know about you. It's supposed to be a light champagne color. Last time I checked, champagne was not this shape. Looks more like my iced coffee. I want to show you what this looks like on the back of my hand before I apply it to my complexion. This is what it looks like. It's a clean vitamin infused skin enhancer that instantly activates a lit up glow. I'm all for that. It's supposed to give you visibly healthier skin, a hint of tint, and a daily dose of skin nutrients. I want you to look how glittery this is. And you're supposed to put that all over your face. I tried it all over my face. I took one for the team and I swear I looked like that blonde woman in the movie Goldfinger. Goldfinger, ba ba ba. You remember the opening scene? I think Sean Connery was the James Bond in that particular movie. Correct me if I'm wrong. But remember the woman that laid on the bed that was spray painted gold? This is exactly that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a tiny bit where I want a reflective glow. But I'm telling you, you guys, it's not going to enhance your skin. It's gonna exacerbate all your imperfections, especially if you put it through your most porous areas. Mine is right through here. It makes your pores look bigger. It makes, it makes everything look bigger. <laughs> but it's supposed to be sheer. You can wear it alone. You can wear it under your foundation. I'm, I mean, that is straight up gold, gold. So yeah, I'm trying to blend that in with my finger, but I wanted you to see on bare skin how gold that is. Now, perhaps they sent me the wrong shade. Yeah, I think you're supposed to pick a darker shade so that luminosity peeks through, but you're better off with the e.l.f. Woe Glow. And man, that really smells strong. Literally a glitter bomb. It's like a unicorn exploded all over my hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of the say, and you can actually mix it into your matte foundations for a more luminous look. But like I said, it is full of glitter and glitter is the last thing we need on our face. We're starting out on a great foot today, aren't we? My face feels greasy, especially with that Kosas underneath right through here. And that was just a tiny speck that I used. We're kind of batting a zero here. Mm. Now for concealer, I've been testing out the brand new It Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spots Corrector Serum Concealer. Now this retails for $30, it comes in 18 shades and it's supposed to over time lighten your dark spots, it's supposed to instantly brighten under your eyes and it's also supposed to help cover up the dark circles under your eyes. It contains niacinamide, hyaluronic acid and caffeine to brighten up that, that area. So I'm like, this is right up our alley for mature skin. What's cool about this product, it comes with a nice little doe foot, as you can see, and there's like a little reservoir in the tip where it disperses the product. It also comes with, ta-da, a little brush where you can stipple in the concealer. And it actually feels quite soft. It seems to me that the higher end makeup companies are trying to throw in every trick in the book to get you to purchase their product. But the bottom line is, does it work? Especially for mature skin. But it says you can place it on dark spots. I've been trying it on dark spots throughout the week. I'm just gonna tap it like that. I have a nice little dark spot through there, but I'm gonna apply just a tiny bit amount. Like I said, I'm in light warm and it is quite dark. And then right where I wanna lift, and I have discoloration through there, right through here. I'm gonna go ahead and tap in the concealer. Since we used a tinted moisturizer, I feel comfortable using this on top of that. There's not so much of a shade delineation, so it should blend in quite effortlessly, hopefully. But does it get rid of my dark spots? I can still see it. I can still see it poking through, and I put a generous amount of concealer there. I can still see that spot. Can you see it? 
And then this one, I have a nice spot right there. And with medium coverage, it's still peeking through. You can still see that spot right there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tap it under my eyes. It's been sitting there warming up to my body temperature and just tapping it in. You know, my biggest concerns for a concealer, I don't want it to settle into fine lines, but also I want it to hydrate that area because I tend to have a drier under eye. It's not offering a lot of coverage. It looks kind of streaky. So I'm gonna try their brush and I'm just gonna stipple it in. And actually this brush is very soft. Feels quite good. Yeah, I already see it settling into those fine lines. Despite using this brush and I'm just gently tapping this, it's just not giving me the coverage. Definitely very sheer. Do I look greasy? I look greasy. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. And this is so much more affordable. It's beautiful, it's lightweight, and it is a serum concealer. So I would rather use the NYX Bear With Me Concealer than this new one. Even though this has a lot of skin-loving ingredients, it's not satisfying for me. It just does not look that great on my skin. And maybe I should have gone up a shade lighter. It just did not represent well online. So if you're gonna purchase this concealer, make sure you go a shade up because light warm is super dark. Okay, so I have my complexion products on and I feel, even though I have normal to dry skin, my face feels super dewy, super tacky. Like, mm. so for bronzer today, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Matte bronzer. Because my face feels super tacky, I want to have some sort of powder to set everything in place. This is a beautiful bronzer that also smooths the skin at the same time. I'm just going to go ahead oh, and I'm in the shade 300 and I'm just tapping it in. I don't want to apply too much bronzer because I'm bronzy enough. This is great for smoothing on the skin. It really does look pretty on the complexion. And since I'm wearing a tinted moisturizer that is ultra dewy, ultra tacky. This is gonna help set that portion of my complexion. So I got my bronzer on and I wanted to test out from Say Beauty again, is their Dew Blush Liquid Cheek Blush. Now this is $25 and it comes in several shades. I'm in the shade Rosy, which is a warm rose. And this is $25 and it's very reminiscent of the Rare Beauty blush. I like that blush. I have high hopes for this one comes out in a kind of a fatty doe foot and this is a stunning shade and the way I like to apply it is I like to put a tiny bit on the back of my hand and dot it where I just want to get that rosy glow I mean this is a pretty color and again super dewy super fresh I mean I guess you could apply the doe foot directly onto your complexion but I find using my fingertips is the best tool tiny bit more so you can see if we can build it up I mean, definitely there's, oh my Lanta. Catherine, what did you do? Why do I always put too much blush on this side of the face? I don't know, but I'm just taking a clean foundation brush and just pressing it in and blending it out. It's just a hydrating gel blush with a creamy blendable formula that gives skin a healthy flush of seamless color. But it's, it's pretty. Do I think it's $25 pretty? Heck no, there are so many fantastic drugstore cream blushes out there that I can think right off the bat that are way more affordable, way prettier. And I'm telling you, I am loving the Essence Baby Got Blush Cream Blush. This is $4.99. I mean, it comes like in a stick form, but it's so creamy, so pretty. But you guys, I love this cream blush because A, it's more affordable, B, it's beautiful on the skin, and it's actually a little easier to apply, but I love the Baby Got Blush from Essence. And at $4.99, yes, you can't go wrong. So yeah, I wanna go ahead and set that serum concealer. I wanted to test out the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Translucent Powder. And I got it for like 50% off. So I was like, heck yeah, I wanna try that. This is what I got on like sale and it's actually really, really good. Have you ever tried their pressed powder? And I'm just taking a little bit on this flat brush, tap off the excess and I'm just pressing it where I laid down that concealer. This is super beautiful. And since this is such a dewy look, I wanna go ahead and set my T-zone. And I found it looks really pretty right through my most porous areas. And just pressing it right through there is so blur. I mean, come on, look at that. This compared to that. 
think it normally retails for $30. I actually got it for $15. So I think it's worth $15 for sure. This is just gonna set everything in place. Leave me a comment down below if you've ever tried their pressed powder, but this is actually quite good. I really like it. Here we are with all the complexion products on. I think it looks good. It looks very natural every day. My skin is still peeking through. This looks nice. It really looks nice. But what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the rest of my makeup and I'll give you my final thoughts on these products. So I went ahead and popped on some eyeshadow, mascara, and eyeliner. For today's look, I went in with the new Essence Beauty Blooming Wings eyeshadow palette. This is an 18 pan eyeshadow palette. It's just beautiful. It's very spring-like. And I just did a really simple eyeshadow look because I'm ready for spring. And then for eyeliner, I just went in with my absolute favorite, of course, the L'Oreal Gel Grip Eyeliner in Brown Denim. And for today, I wanted to try again the highly rated Lash Extension mascara from Milani. Now this is a tubing formula. It does really lengthen the eyelashes and it's basically building a tube around each lash. I just used it because I have it and I just want to make sure if it's good or not. And it's it's a good mascara. Is it the best mascara? No. I'm still in love with the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. Six dollars. So beautiful. But yeah, it does lengthen your lashes. It's quite good. And at the end of the day, they do come off in little tubes. And I kind of like that because I know the mascara is washing off. Just use a little warm water and soap and they slide right off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply one of my all-time favorite drugstore lipsticks. It's from L'Oreal. It's their Glow Paradise Bomb and Lipstick. Favorite shade has got to be Mulberry Bliss, but it's just so soft and pretty and hydrating on the lips. But this is my all-time favorite shade, Mulberry Bliss. It's beautiful. It's super hydrating. It's super pretty on the lips. I think it's the perfect like rosy nude shade. So pretty, so natural looking. And I think it really goes well with the look. It really ties in this natural look all together. But here we are with the final look. And I have some serious thoughts. Let's start out with the Kosas Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer. I do not do not recommend this. It's just a glitter bomb fest. As far as the Say Slip Tint Tinted Moisturizer, remember it does have an SPF. It's supposed to be light coverage. Just think it's overhyped. I know a lot of people love it because it's very slight and comfortable on the skin. It's not cakey. But like I said, if you have an oily complexion, you are not gonna like this. I have normal to dry skin and I felt my skin was just too tacky, too dewy. Kind of disappointed in this. I, I don't think it's worth $36. I don't. There's other tinted moisturizers out there that I prefer. And I think the biggest disappointment of all is the product that I actually purchased, of course, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spots Concealer Serum. It just doesn't offer a lot of coverage. And I know it's supposed to offer medium coverage. I felt like it just immediately settled into my fine lines. It didn't cover up my dark spots. You're supposed to see improvement on your dark spots over 12 weeks. I'm going to continue to use this, particularly on my dark spots on my complexion and and see if I see a difference. Yeah, and remember the shades do tend to run dark, so if you're buying online, you definitely wanna go one shade lighter than what you think you're going to be because I thought this would be a perfect match for my complexion, and I found it to be almost foundation color. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun, I hope this helped you, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. And in case you want to hang out a little bit longer and check out some more foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. And for skincare reviews, check out the playlist right over there. But for now, mwah, mahal kita. I love you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.